Happy Tuesday. I'm grateful to be with you again today on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to give you three ways to beat hunger. So let's start in five, four, three, two, and one. If you're somebody who is practicing intermittent fasting or you've gone keto and you're experiencing just like tremendous amounts of hunger, I'm going to give you three ways to combat that. This is going to be super helpful, very beneficial for your health and weight loss results. Now, let's start with number one. Let's understand here that all hormones are pulsatile. They come in waves. Hunger is a hormone. There's a hormone called ghrelin. Think of ghrelin as gremlin. When it comes out, it makes noise. You hear it. You feel hungry. That's what ghrelin does. Now, let's, I want you to also understand that ghrelin is a, an important hormone. It's anti-inflammatory. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. But when we experience it, we are so used to feeling that hunger and wanting to go eat something. All hormones, ghrelin included, are pulsatile. That means hunger comes in waves. This is good news for you because if you keep yourself busy, if you keep yourself occupied, that hunger is always going to go away. All hormones go up, you feel it just like ghrelin, the hunger hormone, and you wait it out 10, 15, sometimes 30 minutes, and it goes away. So if you're doing a fast, if you're doing keto, those are the days you want to be preoccupied with something. The meetings, the businesses, the, 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 the Facebook lives, the Instagram lives, it'll always go back down the baseline. Hunger never ever reaches a point where you just can't take any more and your stomach is going to explode. So just knowing that fact that hunger comes in waves, that's going to put you ahead of the game right there. You, you understand what the body is doing. All right, was that helpful so far? Before I reveal the next two, if you're watching this on Instagram and Facebook, was that a helpful tip so far? Understanding that hunger comes in waves. Give me a thumbs up or just let me know you already knew that. All right, number two here. Coffee, tea, fat, salt, and I put H2O. So if you're fasting, these are all fasting crutches. Now, technically it's not a water fast, so you're not getting the most autophagy and the most benefits, but you're still doing what you want to do to keep insulin low and start and continue burning fat. So these are all fasting crutches. I notice if I'm hungry and I have coffee, that hunger goes away. It's actually very satiating to me. It has this effect on many, many people actually. So have some healthy coffee. I like purity coffee. Organic shade grown coffee is important because keep in mind, all coffee, or I should say, Coffee is the most sprayed crop in the world. So you want to make sure your coffee snob like me and you get the good stuff. So drink a cup of coffee. Your hunger should go away. Or drink tea. I love green tea. So many brain boosting benefits and fat burning benefits when it comes to green tea. Drink some green tea. You could also put some fat in your coffee or your tea. So a tablespoon of coconut oil. Or this is something I've done in the past. I've gotten hunger before that hasn't gone away in 15, 20 minutes and I've gone to my kitchen and I got a tablespoon of coconut oil and I just ate that and my hunger went away. It does the trick every single time. So if you find yourself feeling hungry and it's not going away and it's annoying you and it's keeping you from doing whatever you got to do, tablespoon of coconut oil, it'll help. Yeah, you're getting calories, but it's not raising glucose and insulin. So you still get fat burning benefits and you're still in a fat fasted state. So this is called a fasting crutch. I wrote about this in my book, by the way, my fasting cheat sheet, which is a best-selling book. You can get it for free at fastingcheatsheet.com. You learn more about these fasting crutches. So that's tip number two, and drink some water. A lot of the time when somebody's really dehydrated, they feel hungry and they're kind of mixing up hunger. Uh, they're mixing up thirst for hunger. So drink some high quality water. I like molecular hydrogen water. You don't have to be as fancy as me. You can just drink high quality uh, spring water, like Mountain Valley. Mountain Valley makes a great water. Number three, stay active. If I'm hungry and I go work out in a fasted state, when I'm done working out, I am no longer hungry. And you might have experienced this for yourself. Whenever I finish a workout, I don't feel like eating. You might be the complete opposite. This works for me. Staying active, going for a long walk, Letting that ghrelin, that hunger hormone that comes in waves, go back down the baseline and get out of your body. Or not get out of your body, but get, get rid of those symptoms of feeling hungry by keeping yourself occupied with a long walk. Keeping yourself occupied with a workout. Keeping yourself occupied in some way that you're staying active and you're getting rid of that hunger hormone, that, that hunger feeling. 
So those are the top three ways to recap for you. And number one, understand that hunger comes in waves. It'll, you'll feel hungry, if you, keep, you keep yourself busy, it goes away. Number two, coffee, tea, fat, salt. These are great ways to satiate yourself uh, and also drink plenty of, of water. Just don't become dehydrated. And then staying active. When I do a workout, my hunger goes away. Any questions for me on Facebook or Instagram? I have my camera backwards. Let me just flip it real quick. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me flip the camera. Any questions on Instagram? What's up, guys? Let me flip this backwards right here so you see me. I know you see my... There we go. Okay, we have Lee, my brother Lee on here. We have April, great information. Thank you, thank you, April, for watching this. And we, let's see, I'm gonna scroll up here in the comments. We have Yasmin, hello. Okay, awesome. And Picky, I'm glad this was helpful. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. All right, I'm glad that made sense to you. So there you go. Those are my three ways. I know it's backwards. Rewatch this if you missed it. Hunger comes in waves, number one. Have some fat, number two, and also stay active. I appreciate you all so much. Oh, good stuff, bro. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. Salsa store, migraine if I don't eat on time. Yeah, that's a blood sugar issue. So I would say before you even do any, any intermittent fasting, you would follow my first pillar, which is the adaptation pillar. I, I don't teach going into fasting until you regulate the blood sugar, until you become fat adapted. Migraines are an insulin issue or a blood sugar issue. So I would say for you to follow the first pillar and that is becoming fat adapted. All right, I have a four pillar approach to perfect health. Number one is the adaptation pillar. Number two is the fast pillar. Number three is the phase pillar. Number four is the flex pillar. If you wanna learn about that structure, get my book, ketokickstartsguide.com and you can get that for free and you can learn the structure and it'll knock out that migraine. I can tell you this, I'll share a story with you. I had a good friend of mine who came to me, it was actually a year ago, a very popular guy, he's a radio host, very popular in Miami. He was getting migraines that were so debilitating, he would have to leave his radio show every single morning and he would have to cancel the episodes and he was losing money, he was losing credibility. He reached out to me and he's like, Ben, I'm taking blood pressure medication, I'm taking migraine medication, I, can't, I have to go home and nap because I feel so bad, my migraines are debilitating. I helped him become fat adapted in three weeks, he was off all medication and he hasn't used medication for, and had a migraine ever since, that was a year ago. So once you get the body burning fat for fuel, all the symptoms, weight gain, migraines, whatever it is, they go away. You focus on health first and a side effect or the symptoms go away, right? Notice I didn't say we lose weight to get healthy. No, we get healthy to lose weight because being overweight is a symptom. Nobody has a weight problem, they have a weight symptom. April says, I've tried to go on a longer fast, but after 24 hours, I am always freezing. What am I doing wrong? So April, if you are, are you freezing during the fast? I just made a video about this. If you're, fe if you're freezing during a fast, it's completely normal. If you're cold all the time outside of a fast, that means you're, there's something going on with your thyroid maybe, and you, you need to have more feast days and days where you don't fast, where you get a lot of high healthy carbs. Uh, I just made a video about that by the way, and I'm gonna release it it's very soon. Hello, Vivian. Um, so I hope that was helpful, Salsa Store. If, if, you, if that was helpful, my migraine tip that I just gave you, let me know. Any other questions, I'll give you guys 30 more seconds here if you wanna ask me any questions, and I will definitely respond. April, if it's during a fast, then it's normal. Uh, just put on a sweater. Feeling, feeling a little cold during a fast is completely normal. I actually wrote about that in my book, fastingcheatsheet.com. You can learn more about that. So if it's not outside of the fast, nothing to worry about there. I don't think you're doing anything wrong. All right, thank you so much guys for watching this. I really appreciate you. Now, if you want to learn more about my online health coaching program, if you'd love to get more tips like this, you wanna ask me questions, you want me to coach you, I have an online health coaching program that is worldwide, whether you are in the UK, Australia, Brazil, California, you could join this program. It's called the Keto Camp Inner Circle. If you go to ketocampinnercircle.com, that's camp with a K, ketocampinnercircle.com, 
You can learn more about this program and I would love to help you become the healthiest version of yourself. I would love to help you become a fasting and keto pro. So go ahead and learn about that program. If you like this kind of content, youtube.com slash keto camp. I release two videos every single week. Thank you for your time and your energy today. I'm gonna actually go get a workout in, get some vitamin D, and I am blessed just to share this with you. So have a blessed day. Thank you so much, Facebook and Instagram. And anybody who watched the replay, let me know, put hashtag replay, and I know you watched it to the end. Thanks, guys.